Hello and welcome to the English Box. Today we are going to talk about prepositions, including in, on, and at. We're going to begin by looking at these prepositions in relation to time and time expressions. So when do we use in, when do we use on, and when do we use at? Well, we use in with years, months, and periods of the day. For example, we're going on holiday in March. I tend to watch a lot of television in the evening, in the afternoon, or in the morning. And there was a big earthquake in 1986. We use on for days and dates. For example, I play football on Saturdays, meaning every Saturday. I like to relax on Sunday mornings. Here, the day takes precedence over the period of the day. What are you going to do on Friday? Here, I mean one Friday or this coming Friday. And do you have any meetings on the 4th of June? We use at for the weekend, for specific times, for the night, and for the moment. For example, I don't work at the weekend. I start work on Monday at 9 o'clock. I found Spanish very difficult at the beginning. Rio de Janeiro at night is truly a sight to behold. And I'm working at the moment, meaning currently. Moving on to the next slide, I have six sentences. Each of these sentences has one mistake in it. What I would like you to do is correct each of these sentences, and you can leave your answers in the comment section below or on our Facebook page. So moving on now from these prepositions in relation to time, we're going to look at these prepositions in relation to space. Here, it's helpful to conceptualize these prepositions in terms of dimensions, where at is one-dimensional, on is two-dimensional, and in is three-dimensional. So if someone says to me, I'd like to meet you at the train station, then I think of at as one-dimensional, and I think of it as a specific, precise, and single point in space. Just like with times, we use at to describe or express a specific, precise time at 9 o'clock at the train station. On represents the relationship between two surfaces. For example, you can have the book and the book lies or the book is on the table. Similarly, you could have the painting is on the wall. The surface of the book on the table, the surface of the painting on the wall. Finally, we have in. Just as in represents a larger space with time, for example, when it's used with months and years, it also represents a larger space with regard to space or to place. So when I say the cat is in the box or the man is in the house, it means one thing is within another thing, within a larger space. So let's use the example of the train station once again. I meet you at the train station is one point, one dimensional. I meet you on the platform. You have the two surfaces in contact. And I meet you in the station. This means I'm going to meet you within the larger three-dimensional space of the train station. That brings us to the end of the video. I, help, I hope that has helped your understanding of the prepositions in, on, and at. If you'd like to watch more videos, then we have lots of others on our YouTube channel, or you can click on adverbs or on phrasal verbs to watch those videos. Or if you'd like to keep updated, then ch uh, click on our subscribe button. Okay, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.